In honor of 1989 Taylor's version releasing on Friday this week at the Daily Beast Obsessed, we are celebrating 1989 Taylor's version week, throwing it back to 2014 to see what Taylor Swift was doing when her seminal album 1989 was released. Let's take a look at her five most 2014 moments. First up, you really can't talk about the 1999 era without talking about Taylor Swift's iconic bob haircut, which she debuted at the 2014 VMAs in this stunning bright blue in theme jumpsuit. Um, it's just a moment in time she hasn't cut her hair this short since then, so it really defined the 1989 era as we know it today. Just as important as the haircut was Taylor Swift's move to New York City, not her Cornelia Street apartment yet, she was just living in Tribeca, but as we know it inspired Welcome to New York, and she was just doing more paparazzi shoots, she was doing Victoria's Secret modeling, it really inspired the kind of huge celebrity she was at that time. I mean... 1989, pretty much every song is rumored to be about this man, Harry Styles. There is a song literally called Style on the album. And she also sings about foxes. He wears this paper airplane necklace and she sings about paper airplanes. So they dated in 2013, so not technically part of the 1989 era, but it really influenced 1989 as a whole. We think. This woman, Carly Kloss, another big inspiration for the 1999 era. She is currently Taylor's ex-best friend, but at the time was Taylor's best friend. They did everything together, went on road trips. A lot of fans believe that the two may have had a bit of a romantic relationship, but who's to say? Carly and Taylor were spotted in so many paparazzi pics during the 1989 era. The 1989 era pretty much wouldn't exist without Carly, considering that she was the one who says she convinced Taylor to move to New York City. So thanks, Carly, for a great album. Carly is also filed under this last item, which is the squad, as seen in the Bad Blood music video. The squad, Taylor still has a squad. They go to her house in Rhode Island to celebrate 4th of July every year and it is magnificent and beautiful, but in this video in 2015 it came out, but it was on 1989 in 2014. It is about, rumored to be about Katy Perry and the beef that Taylor Swift had with Katy Perry. And Taylor's basically saying, my squad, you know, none of us, none of us put up with you. So Katy Perry has since squashed her beef with Taylor, so they're good now, but the squad can always come back to get you.